Well, we've got some rain chances ahead, and it's mainly Thursday and Sunday. Thursday, a 60% chance of showers, and then Sunday, an even better chance of showers, but looks like it's going to be just for the early part of the day. Uh, we'll be fine-tuning that timing as we get a little bit closer, though. But as for Thursday's rain, are we talking about a washout here? Are we talking heavy downpours? At this point, just looks like scattered showers. A good chance you'll see one at some point uh, during the day on Thursday, but this does not look like a big rain event for us. In fact, rain amounts are looking pretty small with this system. So next 24 hours tonight, temperatures will be barely really cooling down that much. We're going to stay in the 50s. That's a typical high temperature for this time of year. So a mild one, uh, isolated shower possible in the mountains. It's going to get breezy uh, with wind out of the southwest at about 10 to 20 as the system approaches. And a couple showers are possible, but let's time this out because notice at 4 a.m. we're mostly dry. It takes until about 8 a.m to see some of that action in the mountains. You can see in the upstate, not a whole lot happening. So shouldn't be a wet morning commute. But then we're going to see that rain push in even more. But it's going to be weakening. The system's going to be losing its oomph as it gets here. We like that uh, because it's a severe weather maker out to the west right now. And you can see the showers moving through around lunchtime as we go toward 2, 3 o'clock, just a few sprinkles. And then all of this should begin to settle down by 5, 6. And then we'll be looking ahead to a couple of drier days. So in your hometown highs for tomorrow, temperatures in the 60s, a couple showers in the afternoon, but should see clearing skies. 66 for Belton and Seneca, right around 70 in Abbeville. Yes, it's going to be a warm day and a little bit gusty, too, as the system moves through 62 for Weaverville. But then the next big thing, it's going to be another rain chance. We'll get chilly this weekend and we'll have some rain moving in from the south. Right now it looks like Saturday is going to be dry. Notice the timestamp 8 p.m. Saturday. Just a few clouds. Here comes the rain. Looks like the bulk of the heavy downpours will stay to our south. And a lot of this is going to happen during the early part of Saturday with most of it moving out into your evening, but still could linger into parts of the afternoon. We'll keep you posted as to whether a first alert weather day is issued. But at this point, looks like the rain's going to be fairly light and we're not going to see it all day long. So we'll be watching it for you. Luckily, no severe weather expected. And here's a look at those rain amounts as we go into Sunday, anywhere from a tenth of an inch to around a quarter inch. Even a half inch of rain is possible, but won't be a big rain event. Neither of these, in fact, Thursday or Sunday, look to bring any huge downpours for us. And then we'll have another chance of rain on Tuesday. Tori and I were joking about this. It seems like every couple days we get a rain chance, and that's kind of how it's going to be for a while. A Tuesday, a 50% chance for some showers. So in the mountains, you'll have a couple sunny days in store Friday and Saturday, but it'll be chilly. And then we've got those showers late Sunday, or early Sunday, rather. And then again on Tuesday, be sure to download the First Alert Weather app to keep up with all of these changes in our weather, these rain chances coming through and how they're going to impact you. Now